Hi, I am Raja Mahmud, working as Associate Professor in the Department of Computer Science, KIT Kalangir Karnal Institute of Technology. Now I used to talk few things about basics of pre-data structures, which you are going to study in the subject called data structures, or uh, say you might have also studied upon the same um, using uh, say programming data structures one and two as well, which is also going to be continued in the subject called. Uh, design and analysis of data structures so let, now let us see few things about say definitions and different types of trees which uh, which will serve the basic purpose in terms of storing data first the way in which data is going to be represented that is using pointers pointers represent relationship between two objects say a data will be stored at a place and will have a pointer or successor to the next link similarly if you have two links uh, one for the next one and the one for the previous one that is predecessor and successor which we used to call it as doubly linked list and then here we have uh, what to say pointers implement a point pointer based implementation for linked lists say singly and doubly linked lists which are having ordered relationship so a pointer can be used to relate two different data elements right now here we are trying to relate point you know uh, three different data elements using a pointers here you can see four different elements a b c d here a is the element which is pointing to the address of b c and d that means a is serving as the mother of uh, the remaining elements b c and d that means this appears to be what to say a having a relationship with all the three remaining elements b c d at which are having which are lying at the same level so objects are having same relationship with more than uh, one other object now tree so it's a, it's you no know, actually it is used to show a relationship among different collection of uh, or sorry, different uh, or among a collection of objects so which we used to call as nodes so here the relationship may be one away or one or uh, say in in one way or for with one object which is at the end uh, at the head of every arrow so here a is an object which is having relationship with b c and d you can see here b c and d similarly you have uh, c d so here b c d all are lying at the same level so here the super you know the a is the one that supervises the, the remaining all elements now there are different terminologies as far as data structure is concerned uh, like you know parent which is nothing but the toll or to say node at the tail of an arrow that means uh, it will be the very first node here in this case of you know in the example a is the parent node for the elements called b c and d because all the elements b c and d are getting derived from a similarly child which is the node at the head of an arrow that means an arrow is there no so which is pointing to the element b c d so it's called as child uh, whose child here a is going to be the parent and b c d are the and b c d are the child of children of node a where and similarly we also call b c d is uh, as siblings and again uh, here uh, i wish to uh, say more about ancestors and descendants ancestors means the node itself or the parent or the parent of the parent whereas uh, the descendant means uh, the, the node which you are referring to and its child or its child child of child likewise it goes on so here you see node a b c or a b e or ancestors whereas node d g h i all are descendants which are what to say represented in different colors now coming to into the terminology three uh, you have a term called root that means a root node which will have no parent and leaf node will have no children which is also called as terminal node or also called as external or in the case of other nodes the remaining nodes are uh, the nodes that comes in between uh, root and leaves are called as internal nodes so now come into the uh, tree definition so an empty tree what is an empty tree there are no nodes there are no elements nothing uh, you know it's an empty tree whereas 
assume we have you know, say few elements that tree is represented as capital letter T which will have finite number of children where the each children will have what to say this will have a will, each child is a disjoint tree that means each children will have its own subtree and if if there is no tree for uh, if there is no children for a uh, node then we either call it as a leaf node or there is no further extension and the part of the tree is also called as a subtree sometimes subtrees may also be empty when it is the case of leaf node now coming to the terminology such as path and path length path represents what the number of edges from a specific node to another node that means say for example source to destination here you see the node ab bf and fh which shows a path how many vertices are and how many arrows are there three so that that's uh, uh, provides the number of edges which is uh, what is a term does path length now there are different levels for node 2 and that that is in that in turn called as node depth so node level the root node is always lying at the level 0 and which will have a depth value of 0 whereas the other nodes once we start from the root node the depth or the level increases 1 by 1 that means 0, 1, 2, 3, 1 by 1 it increases. Now coming into the kind of term called height of a tree the longest path length from the root to the leaf node is called as height of the tree. So here in the example you see several nodes starting from A to H where you could see A is having level 0 that means depth 0, B, C, D at level 1, E, F, G at level 2 and H at level 3 that means level indirectly denotes depth of the tree that a word which we in turn call it as height of the tree. And then uh, few more uh, terminologies also there. Uh, say for example degree that means what the maximum number of possible children for every node that means how many children's uh, children nodes or child nodes are allowed for a tree in you know, what is a in terms of the tree or in terms of an what is a node or an element when uh, sometimes we used to call a tree as a proper tree or a full tree that means uh, nodes have all the nodes are having children and there are no non-void or all children. Say a full tree is also shown here. Now coming into the next term called complete tree where all the levels are full except for the deep level that means starting from the root to the intermediate level you will have all possible elements having children or extensions whereas in the leaf node there may or may not be children or child nodes which is called as a complete tree here you know we are you know, the pic in the picture you can see a complete binary tree of degree 2 and then now uh, we also have uh, terminals called as balanced tree means uh, the number of uh, nodes on the left subtree as well as right subtree look to be same or having same number of children or nodes so which we used to, which we call it as which we which we are going to call it as a balanced tree that means nodes are equally distributed on either side so there are different types of trees general tree uh, no, no say every node will have any number of subtrees and there is no maximum or minimum limits different number of uh, different numbers are possible in the case of a general tree whereas in an n array tree every node must have only n number of subtrees here if it is if the way case of uh, you know if it is the value of n is 2 then we used to call it as a binary tree and similarly we go for b tree or b plus tree and so on and so forth then then uh, coming to the uh, topic called order trees uh, where the n array tree is getting extended that means uh, we add one more additional content or additional constraint that uh, condition is imposed between the parent and children that means how many number of nodes must be there in between or fit into fit in between root and 